Hi everybody, this is Justina, also known as our blockchain on Twitter, and I'm here with Katie from Moonbeam at Consensus 2022. Hi Katie. Hi, how are you? I'm excellent. I'm happy to be here. Yeah, me as well. How are you finding the conference so far? It's been actually very interesting. So we, this is our first consensus in person. We've been virtual since Moonbeam was only announced in uh, 2020. So it's been really interesting to finally get in touch with parts of the community that we haven't been able to talk to yet. It's mostly been developers on our side as we've been building the network. So this is our first real exposure to a broad set of folks on the crypto side. Awesome, wonderful. And just for those who may not know, what do you guys do? So Moonbeam is essentially the top destination for multi-chain applications. So today, that means deploying all sorts of applications, blue chip DeFi applications, NFT and others, that want to tap into the native interoperability on Polkadot. So we make it really easy to build. We have, of course, an EVM, which is sort of table stakes from a developer perspective, but a lot of other functionality we've added in to allow it to become that great developer experience. Uh, but we've also started working on kind of next generation, what we see as De DeFi 2.0, uh, these next generation use cases where you can tap into assets and users and wallets on any chain. And, and so Polkadot, of course, is a big part of that equation, but we're also looking to work with Ethereum, work with uh, Cosmos, and we're able to do that through a team called Axelar. So we have a lot in the works on that side, and we actually just announced a $100 million ecosystem fund to help bring those sorts of projects into our ecosystem. Wonderful. So what about, what has been the most exciting part of this year for you? And what are you guys announcing going forward? Oh man, I mean, we're five, six months into the year already. So there's been a lot that's happened. Uh, we actually just launched this year in January. We were the first uh, Polkadot parachain to launch in full. And so that of course was a momentous event for us in and of itself. Uh, but we're really just wrapping up what, what I've been calling kind of this development stage, right? Getting all of the core infrastructure in place, getting all the, uh, the big DeFi projects that you've heard of, and some of our really great native projects. So we work with Stellaswap, which is an AMM, and we also work with Moonwell, which is a lending and borrowing protocol. And so we've been working with them uh, up until really today and, and into the next couple of weeks to, to get up and running. The next phase is what I'm really excited about because that's when we can start making some of the stuff that people have been talking about from an interoperability perspective into real life, into something tangible through the use of applications and helping teams build them. So that's been most interesting for me. I think the launch is probably the most momentous, but this next phase that we're kind of just closing out and beginning a new one, that will be our biggest uh, accomplishment, I think, so far this year. Wonderful. And what about your story within the space? How did you end up getting in? Yeah, <laughs> reluctantly. Uh, <laughs> I really did not want to join crypto, I, I didn't think. And it was uh, a lot of the misconceptions that I think people continue to have today, right? They think of um, you know, the market fluctuations and, and sort of the folks who are very speculative and kind of piling in. Uh, on that side, but I kind of came to it from a tech perspective. So my background's in tech marketing, and I, I started talking to this uh, C CEO named Derek Yu, who had founded a company called Pure Stake about three years ago. And so he was, you know, in and of himself, very impressive, but I also really liked kind of the humbleness of the team and the openness with which they approached, you know, we don't exactly know what the problem is yet, but we're gonna go find it and we're gonna be ready to tackle it in any way we need to. And true to his word, you know, less than six months later, Moonbeam was in the works uh, since we had seen that there was an opportunity for a developer-friendly way to build on, on Polkadot. And so I think for me, it was really much more the opportunity to build with engineers who I think are among my favorite audiences to, to market to because they're so enthusiastic and brand loyal and you get to have fun from a marketing perspective. Uh, but what's really kept me here is just the rapid pace that crypto moves and how many different facets of the industry there are. There's really no way to master crypto, right? Like no matter where you are, you might be the master of your own domain, but it's constantly changing. And there's a lot to learn no matter where you are and a lot to do no matter what your role is. I agree, I agree. Yeah. Um, so with that said, um, what I wanted to ask you about is like, how do you see yourselves within the ecosystem? I mean, like, I know you're, you're making it easy for developers and I think that's amazing, but I think like overall, how do you see it 
um, being within that ecosystem? How has it been and what are you looking forward to? So the value of Polkadot really comes to fruition when there's a lot of great projects on Polkadot. And so we've had the advantage of success so far, right? We're, we're you know, the first parachain to launch, the biggest crowd loan to ever happen, certainly the biggest ecosystem that exists on Polkadot. And so to some degree, with that comes a responsibility to help work with other teams and get them up and running. And a lot of what we've been spending our time on is, is doing just that, right? To work with them to explain some of this cross-chain functionality uh, that maybe isn't you know, clearly documented or is hard to figure out. So we've been working with them quite a bit from that perspective. But really, within the ecosystem, you know, the value of, of Polkadot is that you can have many different specialized applications custom built for particular purposes. And so as we see more of those emerge, we're bringing projects and saying, hey, we have such and such project. This could be a fit for what you're working on. How can we use this cross-chain functionality, use what Polkadot has to offer to bring our pair chains together to help you know, an application either perform better or offer some new use case that doesn't exist today. Wonderful, I love, I love the interconnectedness and the interoperability. And in terms of like your team, you're saying you like the environment, you like the energy. Um, and what do you think your like, what do you think that you bring to the team um, helps to move everything forward? Because I see your high energy too, so. <laughs> Depends on the day uh, and the week that I've had prior. Uh, so from my perspective, I mean, it's, it's first of all rare to have a marketing background in crypto. That's, you know, if I were to pick the place that marketing or crypto needed to invest most, it's in marketing. And there's been this sort of emphasis on community building, which I think crypto has really excelled at. There's great, great communities in crypto, um, but there's just a lot of explanation that's needed. And so I come from a branding background, a messaging background, a product marketing background. And those have all been incredibly helpful for me as I approach ways to essentially market a very technical product to a broad group of people, right? I need to be able to explain it to the lay person and also to people who are crypto enthusiasts, people who are casual investors, you know, trying to encapsulate what it is that we're doing that's unique. And so for me, that's been the greatest challenge, but also I think where I've made the greatest contributions. Wonderful. Well, thanks for joining us today. It's been a pleasure. Yeah, And absolutely. I look forward to hearing more from you. Great. Thank you, guys. Thank you.